Have you ever noticed that your car's windshield wipers aren't the same size? One is usually longer than the other. And it's not a manufacturing mistake or some quirky design choice just for looks. This difference actually serves a very practical purpose. But how did we end up with mismatched wipers in the first place? And more importantly, what exactly does it accomplish? Let's dive into the oddly fascinating world of windshield wipers and explore why their sizes don't match and why that's actually a really smart idea. Right here on History of Simple Things. At its core, a windshield wiper has one simple job, clear your view. Whether it's rain, snow, bugs, or road grime, the wipers are there to make sure you can see where you're going. But the windshield isn't just a flat piece of glass, it curves, it slopes, and its shape varies from vehicle to vehicle. That means the way wipers move across the surface needs to be engineered precisely. It's not just about clearing as much glass as possible, it's about clearing the right area, especially the part directly in front of the driver. That's the high priority zone. So even before we talk about size differences, we need to understand that visibility, especially for the driver, always comes first in windshield wiper design. On paper, it sounds nice to have two identical wipers, symmetrical, balanced, and easy to replace. But in practice, that setup isn't very efficient. If both wipers were the same length and moved in tandem, they'd either overlap and hit each other or leave awkward, uncleaned areas, especially near the edges or in the center. To avoid those issues, most vehicles use what's called a parallel arm system, where each wiper moves in an arc. Because the arcs overlap slightly in the middle of the windshield, one blade has to be shorter so the two don't collide. That's why one blade, usually the passenger side, is trimmed down a bit. It's not about making your life harder when buying replacements. It's about making sure the blades can sweep smoothly without knocking into each other every time you use them. Let's be honest. When it's pouring rain, we care most about seeing out the driver's side. That's why the wiper on the driver's side is typically the longer one. It covers a larger arc cleaning more of the windshield directly in front of you. The passenger side? Still important, of course, but it doesn't need to be quite as clear. The imbalance in size allows the system to prioritize what matters most, safe driving. Some modern systems even tilt the wipers slightly toward the driver's side when parked, making sure that initial swipe gets right to the most critical area. Again, this design comes from practical thinking, not aesthetics. It's all about clearing as much of your view as possible with every sweep, without causing the blades to jam up or chatter. There's more than one way to move a windshield wiper, and depending on how a car's wiper system is designed, it can directly impact the size and shape of the blades. The most common system found in modern vehicles is called a simple pivot system, where each wiper arm rotates from its own pivot point typically located near the bottom of the windshield. These pivots are offset, one on the driver's side and one on the passenger's side, and the blades sweep in arcs that don't mirror each other. Because of this offset pivoting, the wipers cover different parts of the windshield, and to maximize visibility, especially for the driver, one blade needs to be longer than the other. Some vehicles, particularly older European models, use what's known as a synchronized dual arm setup, where both wipers are of equal length and move in opposite but symmetrical arcs. However, these systems are less common today because they tend to leave the center of the windshield less thoroughly cleared and can be harder to package with sloped windshields. There's also the single arm design usually found on certain luxury or high-performance vehicles. These use one oversized wiper that extends and retracts as it sweeps in a wide arc. It's an elegant solution, but it's mechanically more complex and expensive to maintain. Look at your car's windshield. It's not a flat window. 
It's a gently curved surface designed to be aerodynamic and reduce wind resistance. That curvature adds another layer of complexity. The longer blade on the driver's side has to conform to that curve while still maintaining pressure along its entire length. Go too long and the blade might lift at the ends. Go too short and you lose visibility. Manufacturers test these systems down to the millimeter, making sure the blade fits perfectly for the windshield's geometry. That's why even a car that looks almost identical to another can have slightly different wiper sizes. The dimensions have to match not just the width, but also the slope and curvature of the glass. Behind those two strips of rubber is a surprisingly precise bit of engineering. Automakers spend a lot of time working with suppliers to test different arm lengths, blade compositions, spring pressures, and sweep patterns. Everything down to the mounting angles of the wiper arms is scrutinized. Even the small difference in blade length plays a role in how the wipers park themselves at the bottom of the windshield. If they're too long, they might hang over the edge. If they're too short, they won't meet in the middle. So what might seem like a minor difference, say 24 inches versus 18 inches, is actually the result of a lot of calculated trial and error. So, the next time you're sitting in your car and you notice that your windshield wipers aren't the same size, know this. There's a good reason for it. It's not about cutting corners or saving money. It's about performance, safety, and maximizing your visibility. Every car's wiper system is tailored to its windshield shape, sweep path, and priority viewing zones. That size difference ensures that the blades can do their job efficiently without bumping into each other or leaving dangerous blind spots. And while it may seem like a trivial detail, it's yet another example of how much thought and engineering go into even the simplest components of your vehicle. So if your wipers are doing their job quietly, efficiently, and without complaint, give them a little appreciation. They may not be glamorous, but when the rain hits hard, they're your frontline defense for a clear view ahead. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.